Yeah, because the exhibition program is something that's kind of been in the mind for quite a while. It's been um, something that within the Image Center we've wanted to work towards for the Youth in Focus program. We really believe that, um, that our programs should be diverse uh, and that includes also uh, generations of artists and it's always uh, interesting to have dialogues between different uh, projects, exhibitions, uh, younger generations bring new ideas or new ways of thinking and creating. We have a responsibility to help train and form um, future generations of artists. And uh, I think part of that is to show them alongside established artists and to help give them the experience of something that is a professional installation and the process of producing something uh, a bit more polished. So what we did for the Youth in Focus exhibition was invite um, youth from past programs to exhibit works that were kind of built on ideas they had previously explored in other programs. Hi, I'm Amelia. Hi, my name is Cardell. My name is Alicia. My name is Sienna Hisu Jang. My name is Anne. Um, I'm currently a student at OCAD University um, with a major in graphic design and a minor in photography. Um, I'm a graphic design artist, photographer, creative director. My interest in art started in middle school. I did some photos for my friend at the subway and it turned out really nicely. So I was like, damn, I could really do something about this. I always had a passion for creativity. It was just innate drive I had since I was young. That's why I came to this path, because that just makes sense. That if it always came to you naturally, I feel like that is your purpose, calling. I've always been a creative child since, since the beginning. I used to like making things and creating things and that led me to making a lot of drawings and paintings and that I got a lot of into collage and stuff, so yeah. My work is based on very like personal reflections and thoughts relating to like my identity. As I work in like the intersections of all these like different mediums, I think that's something that I try to make unique to my work, like incorporating these different elements so from design, from photography, and as well from like drawing and painting. My message and what I hope to send out is about feminine identity and how women are often over-sexualized in print mediums like magazines. So I was really connecting and reflecting to that, like me as a designer and how all these magazines and these images of women in popular culture, they can also often be very harmful still, um, especially I think to like young girls growing up. I like to explore how um, the relationships between one another change each other. So maybe something that's um, broken and made fix again, kind of like a, uh, a streetwear kintsugi. It's deconstructed, re-sewed, put back together again. It's uh, like reinventing. There's more than one phone for more than one perspective. And each phone as like it were like um, a beginning climax and resolution. There's like a beginning, middle and end or like um, hot, cold and warm. And so the idea was a subconscious timeline. My brain was a social media and all my interests and perspectives were on a timeline that you could look at, read, scroll past. I like to bring in myself into my art in ways like my culture being Filipino and like recent, I guess, recent issues I've been dealing with. Um, it's about trying to not make the same mistakes over and over again. My creative process has been a lot of experimenting myself and some of the things that I've learned in my art class and just combining both of them. One of the inspirations for my artwork was I really wanted to get into sort of the nostalgia of living as a child and how everything used to be so simple. I didn't really have a formula. I think that's what makes my work unique to myself because I'm just doing things very intuitively because I, I'm just going <laughs> head on, just, <laughs> just doing what I feel like it, it is right to me. My inspirations came from my curiosity at the time and still the curiosity that I have towards society or myself 
or towards the things that are going on around me internally or externally. So I'm using this platform or this work as almost like a question towards myself, but also to other people to explore the duality that we feel about a subject like gender or what's going on politically right now and just ourselves.